Hello everybody, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel, Kalanadi. Today I'm going to do my second reading update for the year. I'm doing one of these every quarter and kind of cumulatively talking about my reading statistics and how well I am doing with my goals. So it is time for another check-in. I'm going to start by just covering some of the basic statistics of my reading from the first six months of the year and then I will move into the goal updates. So to begin with, I have read 138 things in the first six months of 2019. 108 were books, 7 were novellas, and 23 were comics, graphic novels, or manga. 60 of those things were written by male authors, 72 were by female authors, and 6 were by a mix of both, and those are usually from comics. My most read genres so far this year, this is pretty much the same as my last update, weirdly. Um, science fiction at 28.3%, fantasy at 14.5%, middle grade is still up there with 8.7%, poetry at 8%, and then 7.3% each of collections or anthologies and nonfiction. So yeah, really not that different from my last update, though I've added in a couple of other things like collections, anthologies, and nonfiction. I would prefer for science fiction to be a larger slice of the pie this year. However, I think I am mostly limited by how much science fiction is on my physical TBR, and that number is shrinking as I'm reading those books. Um, but it seems like my physical TBR is kind of a limiting factor for things like this because I'm focusing on it so much. But there is room for that to pretty drastically change in the remainder of the year, so we will see. 51% of what I read I owned, the other 49% came from a mix of library resources and borrowing books from other people. Once again, not that much different from my last update, uh, but I'm very happy that I'm still reading a good chunk of what I own. Happily, my translation rate has gone up. 10% of what I've read has been translated so far this year. This is up from 5% earlier in the year. Basically, I have read more manga. Um, and now 7.3% of what I've read has been rereads. That number has gone down a little bit because I kind of stopped rereading after the first three months of the year. I plan to get back to that, but it hasn't been my focus in like the second quarter of the year. Onwards to goals now, I am still mostly focusing my time and attention on reading what I own and staying within my book buying budget, but I do have some other goals that are kind of on pause, and I'm going to go through all of them pretty quickly here. So my first goal is to make quarterly update videos like this one and to make more than 14 standalone review videos. I am doing quite well at this, honestly. Not a smashing success, but I am achieving this. This video is my second quarterly update, so I'm still on schedule for that. And as of filming this, I have made 10 review videos with the possible 11th and 12th to come out soon. So I'm definitely on track to beat that 14 number from last year. I don't know how much I will go over 14. I'm kind of cautious about committing to anything because reviews are tricky to do sometimes, but I would love to end the year having done about 20 standalone reviews. That would be nice. My second goal is to cut my book buying budget in half for the year. I have $750 for the entire year to spend on books and $200 of that has to be reserved for Worldcon in August, which, wow, we're really close to August now. I will be in Dublin in a little over a month. Um, so yeah, currently, so far this year, I've spent $413 on 45 books. I have $337 remaining, and I think I, I won't actually buy anything else until I actually get to Dublin, and, and Worldcon is probably going to be my one book buying binge, my, my buying spree for the year. I'm planning on letting myself loose upon the dealer's hall and Dublin bookstores. However, I've also found that my urge to constantly buy books has really calmed down as I've gone through the year. I thought that the second half of the year would be really, really hard. After I got past the part of the year where I got books for holidays and my birthday and stuff, but honestly, I have gotten a lot better about requesting new releases from my library, and my library has been really good about getting them, and I feel sated by that, let's say. 
My third goal is to reduce my physical TBR from approximately 98 books to 50 books by the end of the year. And I'm really excited by this particular goal. I've been working really hard at it. I've finally been seeing progress and I think I might hit my goal of 50 books before the end of the year, like well before I thought I'd actually be able to achieve it. So at the end of June, I was down to 61 books. That's on top of acquiring things as well as reading things I had from previous years. So basically what I finally managed to do is to read what I own faster than I acquire new books. And the trick for this has not been a book buying ban, it's been reducing the amount of money I can spend on books. I think that book buying bans are too strict for me, they make me unhappy, and I always end up breaking book buying bans. But I'm a very financially conscious person, so you ask me to work within a budget, and I'm really good at that, far better at that than not buying anything at all. So that means that I can indulge myself occasionally in buying books rather than feeling like I am going without and being stressed out about that. And I, I don't feel guilty because I do have that bit of money to buy books. So my fourth goal is all about reading short stories. I have nothing new to report here. I'm still not paying attention to this one. I'll come back to it probably by my third update. And my fifth and final goal was to finish reading books for my Arthur C. Clarke Award Winners Project. If you are new here and you do not know what that is, I basically do these projects where I attempt to read all the winners of a particular SFF award, and I started my Clarke Award project in 2017 at the beginning of that year, and then I took like all of 2018 off. I only had like five books left to read. I finally read them. I said I would finish this project by the end of the second quarter of this year, and I did. So it's done. I've completed it, and I'll have my final wrap-up video on that out very soon. Um, I feel like so far this year has been pretty successful, and I hope to continue on with that. I think the next three months will be interesting because it will be like vacation time, travel, social activities. I wonder if my reading will dip somewhat, but we will see. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you again soon, and until then, bye.